Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 20 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Jerry buys a pack of pencils that cost $3. David buys 4 sets of markers. Each set of markers also cost $3. So let's see A. What is the total cost of the markers? Let's see. So each set also costs three dollars, so we can write that in three, 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 and three. So this is what we're trying to figure out right now, which is the cost of all the markers. So since David bought four and each set costs four three dollars, then we can do four times three, which is twelve, which means um they cost twelve dollars. So the total cost of the markers are twelve dollars. Now it says B, how much more does David spend on four sets of markers and Jerry spends on a pack of pencils? Well, we know a pack costs $3, so to find that out, we can do 12 minus 3, which will give us 9. So that means that the difference is $9, so David spends $9 more than Jerry. And number two, 30 students are eating lunch at five tables. Each table has the same number of students. How many students are sitting at each table? So what do we know so far? We know there's 30, uh, we have, but we have to figure out how many are at each table. So this is what we're trying to figure out. We know there's five tables. Let's see, we can do 30 divided by five, which will give us six, which means there are six students sitting at each table. It says um, each table is on the same number of students. Nerf B says how many students are sitting at four tables. So one, two, three, four. So to find that out, since we know there's six students at each table, we can do six times four, which gives us 24. So that means that there are 24 students sitting at four tables. All right, next page. Number three, the teacher has 12 green stickers and 15 purple stickers. Three students are given an equal number of each color sticker. How many green and purple stickers does each student get? So let's make our tape diagram. So we know there's three students. We can split that into three. So three students. And there's 12 green stickers and 15 purple. So we want to figure out how many stickers does each how many does each student get? So let's see, let's start with green. We know there's um, 12 green, so we can do 12 divided by three since there's three students, that give us four. So let's four green stickers for each student. And then for purple, since there's 15, 15 divided by three, there's three students, that give us five. So now I know there's five stickers so then that means that each student gets four green stickers and five purple stickers so we can write so they each get four green and five purple so they get a total of nine stickers. All right, number four, three friends go apple picking. They pick 13 apples on Saturday and 14 apples on Sunday. They share the apples equally. How many apples does each person get? All right, so let's make our tape diagram. So it's three friends. So on Saturday, they picked 13 um, and they pick 14 on Sunday, so 13 plus 14 is 27, so now they have a total of 27 apples. They have 27 apples. They share them equally, so how much does each person get? So let's see, we can do 27 divided by 3, which will give us 9, which means that each person gets 9, 9, 9. So each person gets nine apples. So each
each person gets nine apples. So yeah. Number five, the store has 28 notebooks and packs of four. Three notebooks, three packs of notebooks are sold. How many packs of notebooks are left? So let's start with our tooth diagram. So they have 28 notebooks. And each notebook, every notebook is in a pack of four. So how um, many packs are being sold? So, all right, let's see. 28 notebooks and packs of four. So let's see, 28 divided by 4 equals 7, which means there's a total of 7 packs. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we have 7. And we know 3 packs of notebooks are sold, so these 3 are sold. So we have to figure out how many packs are left. So since we have 3 that are sold, then that leaves us with one, two, three, four packs left. That's one, two, three, four, which means there are four packs of notebook left. Oh, there. Since we know there's a total of seven packs and three are sold, so we can only do seven minus three equals four. So there's four left. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.